cover up under a natural cave under the bluff because the Indians were having a hard time getting a shot at them. And eventually the Indians crossed the river, some stayed on the bluff, some crossed the river and went to the other side. And from the other side, they kind of had them surrounded and shooting at them from both directions. One armed Wilson at night got into the river and fought, drifted down river and he ran into a Comanche sitting out in the river on his horse with water up to his back, just splashing his foot in the water. And he managed to slip by him and get south of him. And then he got out of the river and went back over into that country towards Loving, where he found good night in the herd. And uh, later, with his wounds, Loving slipped off into the water and went up river. This is a pretty good, pretty good sized river here. But he went up river until he could get out about two miles up river, where he got out and rested for a couple of days where an old Spanish road was. And pretty soon some Mexicans come along and found him and he paid him $250 to take him to Fort Sumner. But this right here is where it happened. When, when Goodnight found the spot where the fight had occurred, he found about 250 some arrows, arrow shafts in the ground around where they'd fought, but no Loving. He thought Loving had been killed or shot himself because Loving had told Wilson that he would uh, not be taken alive. 